A group of Republicans and independents have been offering an alternative to this week's Republican National Convention. Organizers describe the convention on founding principles as based on fundamental American ideas that have been abandoned by President Trump's Republican Party. It's featured a number of high-profile conservative speakers, all of whom have openly stated they will not be supporting Donald Trump in November. For more on this, I want to bring in Mindy Finn. She's the executive director of Stand Up Republic, the nonprofit organization responsible for organizing the convention on founding principles. Mindy, thank you very much for being with us. Absolutely. So what are some of those founding principles on which this event is based? Yeah, I mean, those fundamental principles are that we are all men and women in the U.S. created equal. We're all entitled to the same rights. E the rule of law should be equally applied, that we're a nation based on self-determination and the right to vote is fundamental. We need to protect that right. You know, it goes on and talks about principles like, you know, a free market system and environmental stewardship. You know, these are principles that they're, they're, they're not just party principles, they're really American principles. And then there's there are slight distinctions that kind of have long defined the Republican Party and in the Trump era have really been abandoned. Do you think this era signals an end of the traditional GOP as we know it? You know, I, I think it will be very difficult for the GOP to go back to, to what it was. I think the ship has sailed in some ways. The Republican Party today is the Trump party and whoever who comes after Donald Trump, um, they've already adopted kind of his demagogic ways. Um, you know, they already know that there's a Republican base who's been willing to compromise truth and compromise the rule of law, compromise, you know, our, the institutions, core institutions of our, our democracy, compromise major issues like the national debt that Republicans used to say that they cared about. Under Donald Trump, the, the deficit has risen um, more than it has under, under any president. And so I think it will be really difficult for the party to come back. You know, our, our message with this convention isn't even so much, though, about going back. I mean, yes, there is some nostalgia for people like John McCain and, and George H.W. Bush, who, who were these heroes within the Republican Party. But it's really about kind of going back to the basics of our founding principles and recognizing that we're still on a quest to reach that more perfect union, that the nation is changing. And our founders were wise, but they weren't perfect. Um, and we're seeing this with a lot of the racial unrest today. I mean, that is shining a spotlight on the fact that uh, we have not always had equality in our country, and we have work to do before we truly reach a point where there's racial equity and, and we've addressed inequality across many other lines as well. Switching gears for a moment, you were the running mate for independent presidential candidate Evan McMullen in 2016. McMullen is also a co-organizer of the uh, convention that you're having. What are your thoughts on Democratic vice presidential nominee Kamala Harris? Look, I, I think it is far past time to have a woman, um, you know, president, certainly a woman vice president. It's amazing that as a, as a free and uh, wealthy nation and civilized nation in this world that we are so far behind in terms of the number of women who have served in leadership. And that is starting to change. Um, and Kamala Harris being picked, you know, not only as a woman, but a woman of color um, is, you know, I think just really re re remarkable. And no matter, you know, putting politics aside, I think that's a moment to be celebrated. I also say that, look, um, Donald Trump, one of the reasons that Americans embraced him is that they saw, they believed that he was a, a strong leader, that he represented law and order, um, that he was kind of about winning. And, and Kamala Harris, you know, obviously she's the, the vice presidential candidate. Joe Biden can go toe to toe with Donald Trump. Um, but given that he said he would probably only serve one term, his VP pick is that much more important. And what you see in Kamala Harris is somebody who, as she says, can prosecute the case against the president. And, and so far, she's showing a, a lot of strength in her ability to do that. Well, Thursday night is the final night for both conventions. The speakers at the Convention on Founding Principles have included former officials from the George W. Bush and Trump administrations, along with well-known Republican commentators. Who's speaking tonight, and what will be on their agendas? Yeah, so, you know, we have speakers tonight like Michael Steele and Tara Setmeyer, um, who have been tremendously powerful voices in the party. Tara Setmeyer, a commentator, a, a communicator, an advisor. Michael Steele, a former lieutenant governor and party chairman. 
um, really stood out as, as a, a black man who has held, held those roles. Um, you know, I will be speaking former Governor Mark Sanford, and I, I think that's really, um, you know, makes a point because he was a former governor, he was a former congressman, and he's one of these congressmen who lost his primary partially because he's someone who stuck to the principle of caring about things like fiscal responsibility. And, and for the fact that he was not, wasn't necessarily anti-Trump, but he was seen as not sufficiently loyal to the man. And so somebody who had been a Republican governor and a Republican congressman to be kicked out of the party really exemplifies what has happened in the Trump era, which is that you're either for Trump or you're not, you don't belong. And so for the people who speak tonight, we tell them at our convention, you do belong. Our convention actually welcomes everybody. Um, it is geared towards these former uh, Republicans and disaffected Republicans and independents, but it welcomes Democrats as well, because the point that we're making is that the problems in our country are too great. And if we're going to solve modern kind of big societal challenges as we move forward, racial unrest, climate change, health care, you know, economic inequality, we're going to need to do it from a place where we're all um, Americans. We're all, we're all kind of operating off of the same core principles. And we get back to, instead of this fear-based politics and this division, we get back to a place of, of unity and healthy political and policy debate. Mindy Finn with Stand Up Republic. Mindy, thanks very much for sharing your perspective with us. Happy to be here.